Hello and welcome to this video tutorial in Lightwave. This tutorial is an update version for the previous tea time tutorial I did and I received some great comments and feedbacks. Thank you Peter Pro and thank you very much for Tim Pearsons for the feedback and um, yeah this tutorial should be an update to the previous tea time tutorial. If you have a model already prepared in Modeler, right, you don't have to make the positions and the scaling and rotations inside Modeler. You can directly import your Lightwave model or your Lightwave Modeler files into layout and set the positions, rotations and scales directly into layout. So I want to show you that in this tutorial. The other thing is I want to cover in that tutorial as well how I set up the textures and the materials for the teacup and the tea. And so I cover these two questions in this tutorial. So let's get started. All right, so first of all, I bring in my teacup that is from Modeler directly into Layout now. And then I go to change my layout as usual, right? All right, perfect. So the first thing is, as you can see here down, you see the grid size is five centimeters, okay? So if we change the grid size to, let's say one meter and you want to move, rotate, or set the position of this object with a one meter grid size, and you move this, you can see that it's very hard to control, right? So how you can fix this so that the movement is more manageable, okay? So you can use the, the Alt-GR key, and then the open and close bracket, as you can see here in the menu there, increase grid and decrease grid, okay? So if you go into decrease the grid, right? As you can see that the scale here will change as well. So now we are in 20 centimeter, we go even smaller. 10 centimeters and now when we when we move the object as you can see it's way more fine and more manageable to position your objects into the scene okay so make sure that you not going all the way or every time to one meter grid. If you have small objects and you want to position the objects correctly into the scene, just change the grid size, right? That's very important. All right, so the next thing is how I prepare a asset in Lightwave. Okay, so how I set up the objects and how I set up the materials and so on okay so the first thing is i need a neutral hdri image that has some highlights and some dark parts as well to have an overall kind of a studio environment so that i can set up my materials and my textures based on um, most neutral light environment, okay? So I go to the environment light and I turn off this and I go in here and I add in a texture environment and then set it to spherical and the texture axis to Y, okay? So I will load in an HDRI that I typically use for um, setup an asset. 
So I I imported the HDRI now and when I start the VPR, as you can see, I have this HDRI light setup that representing a kind of a neutral way. So with uh, brighter areas and the darker areas. So a very neutral room setup. All right, so the next thing is texturing out this teacup, okay? So what I do is I'm going into the image editor first, okay? And in here, I will import all the textures that I need. Textures and drag it right into the image editor. And then I have to change a couple of settings in the color space, okay? So all textures that has color information in it, set it to sRGB. And all the other textures, including the normal maps, set it to linear, okay? Right there. Perfect. And now let's open up the surface editor, note graph, and I bring in the image and I can choose here the images that I loaded into the image editor first, okay? So let's go and choose the color. And of course we have to set this up in the UV map coordinates so it's projecting correctly. So we plug that in and right away you see that the material is applied, okay? I need another image editor. You can click a new one or you just can control, copy, control, paste to copy exactly the same node. And in here, you can bring in the glossiness map. And again, control, copy, control, paste, create another one. And in this one, we load in the reflection map and then the normal map is different because now you don't have to use the image node. You need a normal, a normal map node. Okay. And in this one, we load in the normal map right there. Okay. So we set this to the UV map and this are all set it up correctly because we copied this node here. So the normal map goes into the normal input port, right? And then the, the reflection luma goes into the speckler and the glossiness luma goes into the roughness. So what I typically do now to adjust the, the details of my texture and material, I'm going into these two nodes and adjust the settings a little bit, okay? So in other renderer, you will have some color correct node, okay? But here in, uh, in the LightWave uh, system, you can do it directly into the node by clicking on the edit image, okay? And then you can play around with the settings in the edit tab, okay? So when I bring this down to zero or minus one, and I do the same thing for the reflection, bring it up to one, as you can see now it's totally shiny, okay? So you can see it's 100% shiny. And now what I do is I just play around with the settings. So first of all, the glossiness, if I bring this all the way up to one, it's 100% rough, okay? So what I do is I want to have a bit of a speckler, okay? And then I increase the contrast to give a bit more sharper contours in the in the texture, okay? 
and in the reflection I can bring this down so it's not so shiny but I still can bring up the contrast a little bit more right there and as you can see now I just fine-tuning the material okay so maybe I can just make it a little bit more a little bit more shiny okay so something like that I really like this and that's basically it for the cup okay and the T now is really simple so select the T part okay and I will turn down the value to zero okay so it's totally black and then I scroll down to the transparency okay and I crank this up to 100 so now if you look in the refraction index of water and T basically is just water with color right so uh, water has a refraction index of 1.33 so I will change this to 1.33 there you go and when I change now the transmitting distance you will see the changes in a bit I choose a color a T color okay so maybe just choose that one here and when I change the transmitting distance now you can see that it's creating a very nice fall off right you can see this fall off there okay you can add in a noise into the bump okay so this is really strong change the uh, automatic size here okay and then I have to bring in that bump power down let's say to let's set it to one you can see now it's just a little bit of a bump into the T so it's not perfectly flat so it gives a little bit of a life there and that's basically it so this is how I set up my materials my textures and how I set up the the objects and the assets that I can use later on directly in layout so this is it thank you again for these two comments with their feedback I hope now a lot of more things are more clear thanks you for listening thanks for watching and always please like comment and subscribe and thank you very much see you next time and bye